All right. Skip. Rubio against Irving. Rubio, the pass to Martin. Marvin Vergeau. It's rebounded All by right. Cleveland. At one point, they led by. Oh, I want to give it to LeBron in the last second. Come on, man. I want to go to the free throw line. Yet. I want my triple double. Oh my God! I want to get robbed again. I hate this game. Yeah, we won. To the second worst, to to the second to last team in the Western Conference Finals on our own court by only so much points, and I can't even get a triple double out of it. 40 points and almost 20 rebounds, nine assists. Oh, I hate this game. Watson. Can't get it to that one goes off one so time. I'm deleting one. NBA 2K16. Right until the final seconds clock. You know what? They showed their character in crunch time, though, doing what had to be done to send these. Well, once again, you find yourself with a points and rebounds double double. Is that something you've come to expect from yourself on a nightly basis? I average a double double. The only problem is I have only about one, maybe two triple doubles on the season so far. This should have been the third. I had five assists at halftime. I only had four in the second half. And I had nine the practically the entire fourth quarter. And there was one time, and I'll replay it until I'm in my grave. I blew up an easy assist to one of them, I think it was Vergeau, or Love, and it kept recording me throwing it back out and it ended up being a turnover. I had four too many turnovers when the game wasn't noticing where I'm moving my left stick at. I should have just pushed R1 and then pushed the certain letter that goes through the big one, which is L2 or triangle. I'm too stupid to not think about that. Of course I'm MVP. I wanted that triple double. Oh, screw you 2K, you just can suck it. What are your thoughts, Ken? How about the show Freak was putting on tonight? It was a freak show. That's one of the smartest basketball players I've ever seen. Being able to use either hand and being as skilled as he is poses so many problems out there. But as modest as he is, he's not going to gloat even though he's having a great performance. He's going to just go oh, right back and out top there, it all up when I'm having the triple double. The there ain't no recap just highlights of this game. No highlights. And that brings us to the end so when this is the highlights of the MVP, there ain't no highlights at all. When I started playing this game and we started playing the very first few games of the NBA, of Kevin Jordan's career of NBA, from like the first 20 games, I was able to see recap of each individual player, of the stats and how they played. Got a recap of how they played. Not anymore. Now it's like once every five games, just like NBA 2K15 was. It was like once every five games, you got to see recap. And this was. One of those games where I really would love to look at my recap. LeBron only with 15 points. I thought you had at least had 20 points. What's up, man? He's played 39 minutes. He can only finish with 15. 7 for 17. Not the best shooting. Two turnovers. That's not bad. Two blocks. Pretty good. Two steals. Nine assists. Eight rebounds. So his stats were just like mine. Could have been a triple-double. We could have had two triple-double men on the team. If he could have got one more rebound and one more assist like me. I just need one more assist. He only needed two more rebounds and one more assist. I feel like when it hits playoffs, when they're going to bump his overall because they know he plays so much better than playoffs, you're going to be looking at me and LeBron averaging triple-double almost throughout the entire playoffs. We're going to sweep everybody all the way probably till the finals. And it'll probably be Golden State that we play. And that will probably be a seven-game series. You know, this might be San Antonio. Could be Oklahoma. It's probably going to be one of those three teams. Probably for sure. Wow, 45 minutes. I played almost 48 minutes and still couldn't get a triple double after having 42 points, 18 rebounds, and 9 assists. Not 10. I can't, couldn't get the 10. And look, I was 3 for 3 on 3 point. And overall on the game, shot really good. I went on like a 5 or 6 field goal made in a row. I managed to finally time my shot. And you know what? That practice that I did before this game probably definitely played some part in 
me shooting a lot better in this game, jump shooting wise, and I finally got that down. Seven for air and free throws, missed the first one, but then went seven in a row after that. That was good. Overall, I am very proud that I can finally start knocking down my jumper. I'm proud that I can start finally doing that on a consistent basis. Three for three on threes, really? I love my team on overall three points made and shot. No, Kyrie Irving shot three, but he only made one. I made the most threes on my team. How many threes do we make overall as a team? Uh, it won't say. You have to go to like overall team comparison. Uh, is it going to say? Uh, we went 6 for 11. Ugh, man. When they hit 20 plus back to back against um, Atlanta, that was insane. I look back on it, I'm thinking, if they could just do that one more time in one of these games in the finals, that's going to make Golden State really fear Cleveland. Man. Wish they could. Shot 54%. Bench, I mean, our bench really struggles at times, but they're really talented. They just don't ever get minutes. They don't get enough minutes. Either way, watch. No MVP highlights. It would just show the player of me and just shows the numbers. No, like, visual video recap. Nothing. Watch. Nothing after this. Called it. Bam. All right. Great game. See you guys when I see you guys for next game. And that's always stay cool. Need to start working on my outro on every single video when I end a game. So, just get to subscribe. Drop a like if you like this video. And don't forget, and as always, stay cool.